Welcome to Rod's Tree Tours of the University of Nevada, Reno Arboretum. My name is Rod Hollenbeek, aka The Tree Hunter. I am the host for this tour. This is the Around the Joe Tree Tour. It starts at the main door of the Joe Crowley Student Union Building, colloquially called the Joe, going clockwise around the building. Many of the trees near the building were planted at the same time as it was being completed in 2007. This will give you an idea of how much trees have grown since then. There is a pause of two seconds after each tree to let you get to the next tree, but if you haven't yet reached the tree, or if you need a little extra time to locate or contemplate it, please press pause until you are ready, then press play. Okay, let's get started. In front of you at number one on the map is a group of Freeman maples, scientific name Acer X Freemani, an offspring of red maple, which has matte red fall color, and silver maple, which has shallow roots and dull yellow fall color. The offspring is better than either parent. It has deeper roots and matte orange-red color. For those reasons, it is probably the most planted maple lately. Take the curved sidewalk toward the Lawler Event Center. At the corner of the Joe, at number two on the map, is a line of tall, thin conifers. These are Oriental Arborvitae, scientific name Ducha orientalis, cultivar of the species which is native to China, Korea, and Far East Russia. I don't know the cultivar because there are many which look similar. These trees are often planted between buildings and sidewalks, as in this case, and landscape architects use them to visually soften building corners. Take the sidewalk going up the hill 50 feet until you reach a sidewalk leading to a Joe entrance. Walk to the bottom of the stairs. On both the right and the left, at number three, are trees with leaves looking like those of maple. These are sweet gum, scientific name liquid ambar stereciflua. Native to the eastern U.S., sweet gum has maple-like leaves with five smooth-edged lobes and round, spiny, one-inch fruits. It can grow rapidly to a large size and, in the best fall color years, as orange, red, or purplish color. Look across the street to a line of seven blue-green conifers leading up to Lawler Event Center at number four. These are blue atlas cedars, scientific name Cedrus atlantica glauca, native to the Atlas Mountains of Algeria and Morocco. They have a bluish-green color, pointed branches, and light brown cones pointing upward. They were planted in 1986 to memorialize the seven astronauts lost on the Challenger that year. Please press pause and continue on the main sidewalk up the hill to the triangle on your right with a small tree in it at number five, then press play. This is crabapple, scientific name Malus sp. This particular tree will grow to be about 25 feet tall. Its small size, abundant flowers, and small fruits make crabapple one of the three most widely planted tree species in northern Nevada. Please press pause and take the sidewalk that curves right at this triangle and head toward an upper door of the Joe. The building to your left is the Lombardi Recreation Center. Go past some more sweet gums and crabapples to two small conical conifers at number six and press play. Dwarf Alberta spruce, scientific name Picea glauca conica, was found in Alberta, of course, in 1904. Its conical shape and very regular form make it a popular formal accent tree. However, because the foliage is so dense that not much light can penetrate to the inside of the tree, all needles are on the surface. Spider mites are like very small spiders. They like dry conditions and attack this tree. So, many dwarf Alberta spruces have brown areas which will never heal. Next to these small trees at number seven is another small, that is young, flat-headed tree with cascading branches, weeping hegan cherry. 
scientific name Prunus subhertella pendula plana rosea. This popular cultivar of the Hegan cherry has a graft, usually at about six feet, and the branches sweep up and then downward. The tree can reach 30 feet in height. It has double pink flowers and, in good years, it has bright yellow fall color. The best one on campus can be seen on the south side of Sarah Fleischmann Tree Tour. Both this tree and the preceding dwarf Alberta spruce were planted in 2014. Turn left on the sidewalk toward Lombardi, where there are five small trees next to the building at number eight. Japanese or sawleaf Zelkova, scientific name Zelkova serrata, planted 2014, native to China, Korea, Japan, and Manchuria. This tree was introduced for sale around 1862. It is a close relative of the elms, but doesn't have their pest problems. It has red, orange, or purple color in good fall seasons. Past the Zelkovas, planted close to the building at number nine, are two upright trees with many branches sweeping upward. These are columnar hornbeam, scientific name Carpinus betulus fastigiata, planted 2007, an upright cultivar of the long-cultivated European hornbeam. The species name indicates that the leaves are shaped like birch leaves. The tree turns dull yellow in fall, but in the winter the dense foliage provides a screen. Columnar hornbeam is used as a street or perimeter tree in many Reno settings. Columnar hornbeam has simple leaves, a central stem attached to the branch at one end with one leaflet at the other end. Turn right at the building and look at the two small tree shrubs, that is, plants that can have either tree or shrub forms, with compound leaves and dark blob-shaped masses at number 10. Compound leaves have a central stem attached to the branch at one end with leaflets, in this case anywhere from 9 to 31, at the other end. The tree at number 10 is Staghorn Sumac, scientific name Rus Tafina, native to eastern and midwestern North America. The hand-sized masses are seed heads, which overwinter on the tree. This tree is used in many landscapes because it is small and its compound leaves have blazing red-orange color in fall. However, it has many root suckers and can turn into a thicket if not well maintained. Next to these tree shrubs at number 11 is another compound leaf tree with seed pods which look like a string of beads. This is Japanese pagoda tree, scientific name Sephora japonica, a native of China and Korea. It has compound leaves which may cause it to be confused with black locust, but all confusion ceases in July or August when large clusters of yellow or white flowers appear. The seed pods stay on the tree all winter. Turn left onto the sidewalk around the turnaround and look at the small cone fir next to the back side of the Joe at number 12. This is a young Jeffrey pine, scientific name Pinus jeffreyi, native to the Sierra Nevada and more populous on the east side. It has three needles in a bundle like ponderosa pine, but the cones are far larger, six inches versus three inches, and its bark smells like vanilla to most people. Jeffrey Pine was logged for the Comstock Silver Boom in nearby Virginia City, and as a result, the Lake Tahoe area was basically deforested. The tall, thin trees surrounding this pine at number 13 are columnar Norway maple, scientific name Acer rubrum columnare. This cultivar of the northern European native has five sharply pointed lobes, like other Norway maples, but has an upright form. Norway maple is a locally popular tree because it is reasonably fast growing, reasonably tough, and many of the numerous cultivars have bright yellow fall color. In the eastern U.S., where there is abundant rainfall, it is considered a weed tree because it makes many small seedlings. Please press pause, continue around the turnaround, descend the steps, passing by more staghorn sumacs, crab apples, and Jeffrey pines, and reaching the parking lot. At the bottom of the stairs, 
Look at the tall conical conifer just to your left at number 14 and press play. This is giant sequoia, scientific name Sequoia dendron giganteum, one of many present on the campus. This native of the western slope of the Sierra Nevada grows quickly and has a conical shape. It also has egg-sized and shaped cones and all shaped needles. About 50 feet to its left near the bottom of the hill at number 15 is a tree with compound leaves and dark brown wavy bark. This is black locust, scientific name Robinia pseudoacacia. This tree has white panicles of flowers in spring and four inch brown pods in fall. If you wish to compare black locust to the Japanese pagoda tree at number 11, please press pause and climb the stairs. Hint, Japanese pagoda trees leaflets are pointed and black locusts are round. Please press pause and walk along the parking lot street until you reach the corner of the Joe where there is a compound leaf small tree at number 16. Press play. This is Chinese pistache, scientific name Pistachia chinensis, native to western China, Taiwan, and the Philippines. It is popular in California because of its orange-red fall color, but it's only marginally cold-hardy here. There are more than 20 of these trees planted at UNR, arguably more than in the rest of Reno combined. Three more Japanese pagoda trees are in raised planter beds to the right of the steps as you go down toward the starting point of this tour. This concludes the Around the Joe tree tour. Thank you for joining me on this tour. If you would like to support the Arboretum, please see the options on the Donate link on the UNR Arboretum website.